Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, where you know the score, I review many photographic audio and video related products. Today isn't a review per se, I'm just doing a comparison uh, in video between the uh, Canon RP and the Sony A, uh, A7C. So I've got the A7C on the left here and I've got the Canon RP on the right. Now, I recently uploaded a video uh, well, a couple of days ago in filming in HD on the Canon RP, and I was well impressed with it. Um, but I hadn't done anything as far as 4K is concerned. So I thought, well, let's do a comparison between the Sony A7C, which is here. I've got its kit lens on, which is the 28 to 60 uh, kit lens. So it isn't the best lens, but likewise, I've got the uh, Canon 24 to 105 as a kind of kit lens as well on the Canon. Now, the problem we have with a Canon is it's well documented on the internet that when you shoot in 4K, there's two things that happen. You get the 1.7 times crop factor, might be 1.5, I'll check that. I think it's 1.7 crop factor. Um, and you get uh, uh, no dual pixel autofocus. If you look at the video, which I'll link up here somewhere, uh, somewhere up here, the dual pixel autofocus in HD is wonderful. I just wanted to see how good the dual pixel autofocus is. Well, there isn't no dual pixel autofocus in 4K. Um, so I wanted to see how good the 4K footage is of the Canon RP. Most people seem to say, don't bother using it because of the autofocus. If you're just doing presentations of camera like this, I suspect it may well be fine. So we just want to see, because the autofocus on the A7C is phenomenal. It's sharp, it, it nails it, it's really, really good. And that's on all the Sonys. I love my Sonys, mainly because of that. Um, now the similarities between the RP and the A7C, they're kind of a very similar size actually. The RP is a very compact, uh, full frame, 26 megapixel sensor. Um, the Sony A7C is very, very compact, full frame, 24 megapixel sensor. Uh, they both got an articulating screen that come out to the side on the same side. They both got headphone jack and mic jack, um, and they both only have one SD card slot. The Sony, I think, is an improvement on the Canon. The SD card slot's in the side, which I much prefer. On the Canon, it's in the battery compartment, which is pretty traditional and it's part of a course uh, for cameras, you know, uh, this entry level. Um, now, the other big difference is, <laughs> and this is a big difference, is the price. The Canon RP body only is in the region of a, it's about a thousand quid, 1100 quid, where the A7C is uh, 18, 1900 quid. So that's a massive difference. You could get a couple of extra lenses with your Canon if you bought a Canon. Um, but there's other, there's other recording, the video recording differences with the Canon and the Sony. The Sony has no record limit, so you can just keep on waffling forever and a day, and that'll keep running until either the battery runs out or the SD card fills up. Um, and the Canon's got a 30 minute record limit, well, 29.99, whatever, 30 minute record limit. Um, also, with the Sony, I can power it off a USB block, uh, so that'll just keep it running. With a Canon, I can charge it the battery via USB, but I can't run it via USB. Um, not a big deal if you're doing short clips, you know. Uh, this video isn't going to be incredibly long, so I shouldn't have any issue with that. Um, the biggest issue for me is what is the focus like in 4K? I know for a fact it's excellent in HD because I've already done it, so I do know it's excellent in HD. So if, you, if you're watching this, what you're looking at now is the Canon RP with its kit lens, a 24 to 105. Um, so if I move around a bit, I don't know if it's holding me focus. Um, hopefully it's keeping me in focus and not focusing on anything in the background. So that's the Canon RP with its 24 to 105 kit lens. There's only window light coming through. I've got no uh, artificial light. I haven't put any lights up. I've just whacked these on the tripod, come to the office and done a test. So as I say, what you're looking at is the Canon RP 24 to 105. Um, and um, I, with my eyes, I can't tell if that's holding me focus or not. I won't know until I look at it back on 
uh, the computer, although I can tell what the framing is like. And that's great about these articulating screens. You can check the framing, and that's wonderful. Um, and now we're looking at the Sony a7C with its kit lens, and that's the 28 to 60 kit lens. Um, again, I'm looking at the articulating screen, it looks pretty good. The audio level is looking good. And the audio actually is going into my Sony a7C, and I'm using my, my Saramonic Blink 500 radio mic to pick up the audio. I haven't played with the audio on the Canon yet. Um, and so there we go, that's the image of the uh, Sony a7C both of them shooting in 4K. The wide shot there is being picked up by my trusty little Sony ZV-1. I mean, I've got a camera behind me uh, that's picking up just a shot of hopefully these three cameras. So um, it's, it's a kind of an unfair comparison only because of the price difference between these two cameras. You know, one is 18, 1900 quid and one is a thousand quid. So there's a massive difference in price. So I'm not really going to be doing a comparison um, per se, but I was just out of idle curiosity, wanted to see if the Canon RP is as bad as what, uh, you know, most people on the internet seem to suggest it probably is. Um, I, I don't know yet, but I, as I said earlier, I really do like its HD quality. It's really good. Um, the fact that both of them only have one SD card slot, that's of no consequence to me. My A6600, V6100, um, etc. have all got one card slot, so um, I've got used to that and it doesn't worry me at all. Um, you know, in, in actual fact, I've not had any issues with corrupt cards. I might well be lucky, I don't know, but... Um, for me, that's not a deal breaker. If you were doing weddings or you were doing something um, uh, such as that, yeah, two card slots as a photographer would be essential, and I completely understand that, um, but uh, not for me. And I think at this price point on the Canon RP, um, that's acceptable. I'm not so sure whether it's totally acceptable on the A7C, um, but I still love the camera. Um, it is my favourite camera. It really is, and as I said, we're looking at that now. So... Um, a great great piece of kit and the e-mount is a really really good system because i can fit my uh, uh aps-c uh, lenses on the a7c and vice versa i quite often put, put my tamron 20 mil on the a7c uh, which is the full frame lens uh, but i also put it on the a6600 uh, which is an aps-c body and i use it quite a lot on the 6600 so um but with the canon it's a it's a little bit more awkward putting uh, EFS lenses, certainly on the full frame body. You have to go via the, the adapter, um, it's a little bit more convoluted. Um, but I do find the EF mount adapter is great if you're using Canon full frame lenses. I've got the 85mm lens, really, really nice lens. It's an EF lens and that works great via the uh, EF adapter, EF to RF adapter. So there we go, that's the video quality of the Canon RP shooting in 4K um, compared to my Sony a7C, which is also shooting in 4K. I shall almost certainly edit this on a 1080 timeline. I was thinking I'd do it on, in 4K and upload it in 4K. Well, not really. Well, I'm not really looking at video quality per se. I'm more looking at how good is the autofocus. I know it's got that 1.7 crop factor, and that's fine. In fact, um, the angle is very similar, or kind of very similar on both of them. So I'm not really worried about the actual visual quality, because the 1080 should sharpen it up a wee bit anyway. Um, so it's being filmed in 4K. Rest assured, I am shooting in 4K, but I'm going to upload it in uh, 1080. So I will edit it in 1080. It's, just, it's more convenient for me because I'm shooting with four cameras. So it makes more sense to do that. So there we go. That's a quick look at the Canon RP versus the Sony a7C shooting in 4K, doing a sort of interview style uh, arrangement. Would it hold up to that? Um, I suspect most of you would use manual focus if you was interviewing someone because you would be able to monitor what you're doing. I can't do that because I work on my own. I don't have anybody uh, working with me. So I need really good, reliable autofocus. Um, and so there we go. That's for Canon RP and the Sony A7C. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that you. I don't know which one to look at now. <laughs>
I'll try and look down the middle. Um, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. Please hit the, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. That really does help me grow the channel. And I really appreciate every single person who has subscribed so far. Really, really appreciate that. It helps me grow the channel. So thanks to all of you guys and girls for doing so. And hit the like button if you found this content useful. Uh, please stay tuned and look out for more videos relating to video and photography and some audio. Thanks very much. Bye for now.